It's Patrick and Chuck at Pals. Chuck, it's getting hot outside. Do we do air conditioning work? We do a ton of air conditioning work. And in Florida, you almost need to have it functional all year round. So all the modern cars and even not so modern cars, we service as air conditioning. It would be advisable for you to get a checkup at least once a year at Pals to make sure your air conditioning is working in tip top shape. And Chuck, we do a lot of restoration work here. For instance, I know right now in the shop, you've got a 71 Ford Torino and a 70 Corvette. And both of these cars were factory equipped with air conditioning. However, they used to use R12, which is no longer available. How do we make the the, the old cars work with the new technology that were factory equipped with air conditioning? Well, what we've done in both of these vehicles is gone through and inspected the air conditioning system to make sure it was functional. On the Torino, we actually had to fabricate new lines because the lines were in bad shape. But we convert it, and using a conversion kit, it will work with 134A, just like a car that you got two weeks ago or 10 years ago. Now, now what about the controls inside the car? In other words, it changes it to defrost and to air conditioning and to heat. How do we get those controls to work with today's technology? Well, you really don't have to change anything in the controls. You just have to make sure that they're functional. Once you can do the conversion to the 134A and fill it up with Freon, as long as all your door flaps and everything move freely, then that system will work just fine. If not, you may have to disassemble some of the dash and go through and repair the control head that controls all that. And most of those cars were vacuum actuated, so you want to check to make sure you got the right amount of vacuum to make the doors open and close and turn the AC on. So if I have a factory equipped AC car and it's 50 years old, chances are you can make that air work just like it did 50 years ago. That's correct. It should be just fine once it's converted to 134A. Now, what do we do, like in the case of our 1948 Dodge that we're doing a complete restoration on? That car was never factory equipped with air conditioning. Yet our customer, Darren, would like air conditioning in his 48 Dodge. How do we handle that project? Well, in this particular instance, we're going to have to fabricate a system for that car so that we can install air and heat in it the way that Darren would like to have it done. So there are several companies that we can utilize to get components from, and some stuff we'll make in-house. But yes, we can install air conditioning in that Dodge with no problem. And believe me, he wants AC bad because it's hot in Florida. As he's driving to those car shows in his car, he'll be nice and cool. So even though this car has got a, a, uh, a regular six cylinder engine in it that never had air conditioning before, We're going to make this car cool on the inside with factory new AC. That is correct, Patrick. Oh, that's fantastic. Listen, if you have a classic car and you want air conditioning, come to PALS. See you soon.